Continuing coverage this morning on the Central Illinois judge who will soon learn whether or not he'll get to keep his job. Judge Robert Adrian defending his record as judge of the 8th Judicial Circuit. A complaint was filed by the Illinois Judicial Inquiry Board after he reversed a ruling on a sexual assault verdict last year. His decision made national news. After two days of hearings, both sides rested. Now it's up to the Illinois Court Commission to decide if he could still sit on the bench. And our Mackenzie Laporte was in the courtroom and brings us a full recap on what each witness was questioned on and the energy felt by everyone in the room. Now day two of the hearing of complaints over Judge Robert Adrian's actions kicked off at 9 a.m. Wednesday morning. Now there were four new witnesses brought to the stand and at times the room did get a little tense with one side saying that Judge Robert Adrian lied time and time again and another side saying that Judge Robert Adrian did what any good judge would do. The first witness, uh, attorney Todd Eiler, was questioned on the parking lot conversation between Judge Adrian and Eiler. Now, this conversation raised concerns for the Judicial Inquiry Board because Judge Adrian was accused of having off-the-record conversations about the Clinton trial. Now, the second witness, Anita Rodriguez, was questioned on her part in the State versus Clinton case. This was important to the JIB because Judge Adrian was accused of confronting Eiler about the way Anita handles sex cases. Next to take the stand, attorney Josh Jones, who was questioned on the incident that took place at the Adams County Court between Jones and Judge Adrian. Now, according to Adrian, Jones liked a Facebook post saying Judge Adrian should be fired for his handling of the State versus Clinton case. Adrian kicked Jones out of the courtroom and said he couldn't be fair with him that day in court. When asked by the JIB, Jones said the only post he liked during the time was one that said hold rapists accountable, and he believes that is his job to do just that. Now, the last witness of the day was Andrew Schnock. He shared with the room that he blames himself for the way the initial ruling was decided by Adrian and wished he had done a better job in his closing arguments. Now, the Illinois Courts Commission did conclude this portion of the hearing a little bit before 1 p.m. on Wednesday. We will bring you updated coverage as a final decision is announced. Reporting in Chicago, I'm Mackenzie Laporte. Thank you, Mackenzie. Now, as this hearing continues, we'll continue to update our website and social media pages with all the latest information.